When I first started using Evernote at work, I would uh, be taking a lot of notes and meetings. And then when I got back to my office, I would retype my notes into Evernote. But there's actually an easier way. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. As we continue to look at tips and tricks for Evernote, I want to show you scanning and handwriting recognition in Evernote. Would you do me a favor, please? Please hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. Makes me and the YouTube algorithm very, very happy. Okay, so I actually don't like typing notes in meetings. Now, I am a consummate note taker. I mean, if I'm in a meeting, if I am anywhere in any kind of a conversation, there's a good chance that I'm taking notes. I, uh, I think it's because I started my career as a professional journalist where I was always taking notes and meetings and writing down quotes and the like. But even as I moved into the business world, I found out that taking notes was a, was a really good way of helping me remember what I just heard. As I said, I don't like typing notes in meetings. I've seen too many people abuse the digital privilege by, as you know, checking their email or doing other stuff on their computers rather than really taking notes. So I would write notes by hand and I would retype them into Evernote. Paper notes would get lost, but once the info was in Evernote, I knew I could find it very easily. But then I discovered an app called Scannable. It is loaded on my phone. Now, when I leave a meeting, I open the app and it's a simple scan for inputting that picture as a note in Evernote. The scannable app is free and it's easy to use. It's designed for Evernote, but it only works on iOS. Don't have an iPhone? Never fear. You can use the camera on whatever smartphone, whatever kind of device you use. See, because once you have your note captured as a photo, you input it into Evernote and the magic begins. The easiest way to scan documents is to hold the camera steadily over the document or whatever card or whatever you're trying to schedule in. So all of the edges are visible inside the frame. The camera automatically detects, focuses, and takes a snapshot of the document. Once your note is uploaded, Evernote does its work. And soon, your handwritten note is searchable. It goes through a process where it recognizes your handwriting and makes everything searchable. Now, I have to tell you, my handwriting is pretty awful. <laughs> and for the most part, uh, Evernote picks up most of it. There are a few words that I have to go back and, and fix and correct. But really, it's a, it's, it's a marvelous system. Now, once I've scanned my note, quite frankly, I can throw the paper away and I can rest easy. Now, this got me thinking about another use. You see, I have a friend who keeps a daily journal. He writes it every morning. He's very faithful about it. And he fills in volume and volume of paper notebooks. In fact, he has a stack of them because he's been journaling for probably at least the 15 or 20 years that I've known him. I encouraged him recently to use Scannable to get all of that content into Evernote. Not only are his notes safer and they won't get lost, but because they are searchable, he can look something up quickly without having to first think of the year and find the right notebook and on and on and on. And he, of course, he'd have to hunt through all the pages to find what he was looking for. And it, it's just a mess. So he did that. He, he, I encouraged him to start with the most current uh, a journal and kind of go backwards. And, you know, he did almost an entire year, scanned them all into Evernote. Then recently, he told me that he was on an airplane trip and he had some time, of course. So he opened up Evernote and he started reading some of those entries from some of those notebooks. And he admitted to me that while he loved the idea of journaling, he only rarely went back and read to read what he had written down months or years earlier. That really wasn't the point of keeping the journal, but he really had personal satisfaction by going backwards and, and reading uh, conversations he had had with people, um, activities that he had done with family members and the like. So he sold, he is now continuing the process of scanning all of his uh, handwritten notes from his journal into Evernote. 
So if you end up with a lot of paper notes and sometimes you, you lose them or sometimes you can't even find a note that you had written just a few days earlier, consider using the Scannable app in Evernote and stop worrying about it. I'm Dave Edwards. Thanks for joining me today.